All right. Well, once again, it is incredibly difficult to keep up with the ever-flowing scandals of an elected U.S. trader, Trump. It's impossible. It's actually, it's like trying to follow a speeding train on foot in sandals. It's unbelievable. Well, we now have unbelievable events unfolding with Mike Fallon pleading guilty to having lied while trying to cover up conversations once again with our enemy Russia and their spies and their government. We have a very difficult time doing videos because it's the unfolding ever-flowing story of unelected U.S. trader Trump and its ties to our enemy Putin and Russia it just keeps going. It's mellifluous. It just keeps flowing in an unbroken stream. Now it's Mike Fallon, a U.S. trader who was dealing with Russia at the behest of unelected U.S. trader and historic popular vote loser, Trump. Mike Flynn is a fine person. What he did wasn't wrong. What he did in terms of the information. When I looked at the information, I said, I don't think he did anything wrong. If anything, he did something right. He, he didn't just call Russia. He, he's doing the job. You know, he was just doing his job. The information was provided by who I don't know, Sally Yates. And I was a little surprised because uh, I said, doesn't sound like he did anything wrong there, but he did something wrong with respect to the vice president. And I thought that was not acceptable. As far as, as, far as uh, the actual uh, making the call, in fact, I've watched uh, various programs and I've read various articles where he was just doing his job. That was very normal. You know, first everybody got excited because they thought he did something wrong. After they thought about it, it turned out he was just doing his job. So, and I, I do, and by the way, with all of that being said, I do think he's a fine man. doing it because Trump told him to, and we're going to find that out very soon. But we wanted to very quickly focus on what an idiot and a moron Trump is. Trump had bragged that he hires the best people. We're going to deliver. We're going to get the best people in the world. We're going to use our smartest and our best. We want experts, our finest people. We don't want people that are B-level, C-level, D-level. We have to get our absolute best. Trump hires the best people. That was the claim. And with all of Trump's claims, it's absolute bullshit. Every single time. Trump claimed he hires the best people. Well, let's just look at that. Trump tweeted, of course Trump tweeted, even though he later recanted and blamed his attorney for it. Tweeted that he knew that Felon, Mike Felon, a U.S. trader, had lied to the FBI. Even though we already know that President Barack Obama, twice duly elected President Barack Obama, warned that idiot Trump not to hire Felon, a U.S. trader, Mike Felon. And Sally Yates, the acting attorney general, whom Trump fired for telling him the truth about Mike Felon, a U.S. trader, he was told by Sally Yates that felon was compromised. The first thing we did was to explain to Mr. McGann that the underlying conduct that General Flynn had engaged in was problematic in and of itself. And additionally, that we weren't the only ones that knew all of this, that the Russians also knew about what General Flynn had done. We told them that we were giving them all of this information so that they could take action. And what did unelected U.S. trader Trump do? It fired acting Attorney General Sally Yates and kept Fallon on. Mike Fallon remained on. 
Well, the real news was reporting on this for months and months. And Drumpf kept him on. Drumpf actually kept him on until the media, the real news, the stories about it were just blowing up. But without making this a really long video, we'll stay to the tweet where Drumpf admitted he knew about a felony committed by Mike Fallon and didn't do anything about it. In Drumpf's tweet, getting back to Drumpf falsely claiming it hires the very best people, Drumpf ultimately, after being made painfully aware by the Twitter community that Drumpf had now admitted to a felony itself, it then very quickly blamed it on very horrible, lousy, inept failure of an attorney, John Dowd. So this is a, a remarkable, a remarkable, remarkable thing. Dowd's record is horrible. He's an idiot. He's incompetent. But Drumpf doesn't pay anyone. He's known as a deadbeat throughout New York doesn't pay his bills. He's known throughout his existence as a deadbeat that doesn't pay its bills. He is a career debtor. That is what Drumpf does. He borrows from one group of investors to pay the others, and then eventually those projects collapse. They always go bankrupt. It's unbelievable. He, has a, he just has a black touch. Whatever Drumpf touches turns to shit and you're seeing it now. But these are the people Drumpf picks, this idiot Dowd, who is just a total failure as an attorney, inept, but will s certainly represent a bum and an idiot like Drumpf. So getting back to Drumpf's post, Drumpf, Drumpf tweets a self-confession of obstruction of justice and then blames it on this idiot Dowd. So now Dowd takes responsibility for the tweet, which is truly remarkable. Where did Trump find this idiot? Where did this idiot get its law degree? At a gas station? Did someone drop one and this idiot picked it up and assumed an identity? The guy is an idiot. It's bad enough that Trump, an absolute incompetent, tweeted it which could probably be explained in some way due to his unstable mental condition. The pressure of North Korea and nuclear engagement, something like that might actually become defensible in a court of law. But having an attorney who was retained specifically and expressly for the purpose of legal representation, even going so far as to be a spokesperson, at times like this. This idiot has such a weak grasp of the law. Instead of noticing that Drumpf had a viable defense as a complete and blithering idiot, it allowed idiot Drumpf to assign it the statement of knowing that its own client committed obstruction of justice. This is a really simple issue. Not only is Dowd in a huge amount of trouble for this, but so is unelected U.S. trader and idiot Drumpf. This is evidence. The white trash press corps has told media, the real news, and the American public to take Drumpf's tweets as official statements from the white trash house. So this is evidence now. Trump tweeted it, Dowd tweeted it, doesn't matter. It's self-incriminating. If Dowd says he tweeted it and sticks to that, then he knew that his client had obstructed justice, but told the public, let that very confidential fact just unleashed it. So now it's out there. It's done. Dowd has created a gigantic problem for itself. Not to mention speaking publicly at a New York cafe on the street with the other idiot attorney of Trump's, this moron Ty Cobb, just speaking openly on the street so that anyone could listen to private, personal, confidential matters. 
That's what these idiots do. You have to look at Dowd, and this is the worst possible outcome that they could have ever arrived at. It's incredible. These people are inept. So Trump picked this to be its legal representation. Trump is going to prison, and it's going to be a long sentence. A first-year law student knows not to make the grievous error that this idiot Dowd made. As it unfolds, it's going to become the funniest Wild West show you ever saw. The abundance of clowns and idiots circulating within the white trash house is epic. And it's going to continue, and the tweets from Trump are going to get crazier. And to cover, just very briefly, the second idiot, senile old kook Ty Cobb. This moron is one of the two idiots who had the open conversation about their client's personal private confidential information at a public sidewalk cafe. In addition, it told that idiot drunk that this long, long involved counter, counter-intelligence investigation and criminal felony investigation into Trump and its conspiring with our enemy Russia to undermine our U.S. democracy and country, he told that idiot that this case and investigation is going to wrap up quickly. He said by the end of the year. Well, he didn't say what year. It may be by the end of 2020. Uh, but this is going to go on for a long time. So Dowd is a moron, and the senile old fool, uh, Ty Cobb, is a witless idiot. Dowd needs to retire from the practice of law, as well as Ty Cobb, that senile old fool, who should be brought out to pasture. That idiot is either trying to pacify a moron, drunk, by making public statements that are meant to and crafted to be received by only one audience member, Drumpf. He's either doing it to pacify that idiot, or he's a complete moron and really believes that this unbelievably detailed investigation that is barely getting started is going to wrap up quickly. One thing we can say is it is going to wrap up, and it's going to end very, very, very badly for Drumpf and its clan of white trash. That's, a, that's for sure. But one other additional item, Trump's anger and his Freudian slips, his inability to control himself, the instability, mental instability, the incoherence combined with the severe ineptitude leads to things like this. You never know about an ally. An ally can turn. You don't understand. You're going to find that out. Trump is now openly expressing that allies will turn on him, like Mike Fellon, who is turning on Trump. Many more will flip on him, and he knows that. Trump knows that. Trump knows that really, really well, that people will turn on it, because Trump never gives anyone loyalty, ever. But Trump expects it with his creepy Nazi loyalty oaths and other disgusting, creepy behavior cult-like behavior. And this is going to come back to Trump, all of it. Every recorded admission that Trump has made, like telling Lester Holt this. And in fact, when I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story. All of this is evidence. The FBI tweet where Trump admitted that he knew that felon had lied to the FBI, that's huge. And again, Dowd shouldn't practice law, but that's what you get when you don't pay your bills. That's basically the bottom line here. Trump hires the worst people, and that's pretty much it. He hires the worst people, has the worst ideas, and files the most bankruptcies. That's really what Trump does. Trump is amazing at one thing, creating debt. And with this new Republican tax bill that they're trying to pass, 
which is actually a billionaire cash giveaway, they're instantly going to create a new trillion dollars, at least one trillion dollars of new debt. At the same time, they will raise the taxes enormously on the lowest classes, on people who make a little $75,000 a year. It's so despicable. Now, we have a difficult time with this one, getting really, really angry, because it benefits us. But we are able to realize how severely damaging this is to 99% of Americans. They'll suffer. So the best thing you can do is vote. And if you think Republicans represent you by pushing and promoting pedophiles like Roy Moore and passing tax bills that leave out 99% of Americans, then they are for you. But if you want a government that actually works responsibly and tries to be bipartisan even if it isn't all the time. It has that intention and also has worked extraordinarily well, the Democratic Party, for the people of America. So you have to make a choice. Are you going to be American or Republican? I love all people, rich or poor, but in those particular positions, I just don't want a poor person. Does that make sense?